uh, it's Sven on the SRS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at uh, Storm Collectibles 112 scale uh, can figure from the Ultra Street Fighter 2 the final challenge uh, line and as you can see here's the box with a nice uh, window display and and a picture of Ken there and uh, yeah it's pretty much the same box as it did here you have the logo on the top there that uh, artwork on the sides as well as the name and the Street Fighter logo and you got some product shots there and yeah that's pretty much it for the packaging itself so let's open it up and check out the contents uh, as per usual we get the, of course the figure in the clamshell but you also get uh, another backdrop here uh, probably Ken's stage here at the pier see the bow here in the background and yeah you also get this uh, this effect here uh, I think it's uh, some sort of super finish effect according to one of the comments on my previous video on Rio and uh, yeah that's it for the backdrop you also get this instruction sheet uh, you get how to uh, swap out the head sculpt how to swap out the hands how to put on the special effect part as they call it there the flaming fist and how to assemble the the base for the fireball uh, taped to the bottom you also find the stand as for the figure uh, it comes in this plastic clamshell and uh, there's a piece of plastic sheet covering the top of the of the box and uh, yeah as usual we start with the accessories here is uh, Ken's fireball effect and uh, I don't think this one comes apart like Ryus did and you can also see if I can find the right way here yeah, you can see a couple of hands inside there to simulate the effect coming uh, or that uh, the fireball is generated by his hands you can see them there uh, this piece spins around but uh, it's uh, pegged in and the peg in there is uh, widened out so I don't think this is supposed to come off uh, also this back piece I thought was going to come off but it looks like it's glued in uh, here and here on the opposite side so I don't think it's meant to come apart like uh, Rio's fireball did. And here is the flaming fist uh, effect. You just slide it on top of Ken's hand, and that's pretty much it. It's a uh, orange sort of translucent plastic you can see through it it's painted nicely and it's, uh, they did a really good job on this so yeah uh, you also get several heads this is uh, Ken's 
beaten up head sculpt. Uh, nice and bloody. Uh, here is some rubber type piece of plastic. So yeah, nicely molded. Hair looks good on it. Nicely painted too. If you can get a little bit closer up on it. Nicely painted on the teeth. And yeah. Really nicely done. And this one I believe is his uh, victory head sculpt with the grin. Also nicely painted. Uh, hair done the same way here. Rubbish plastic hair. Uh, nicely done. And the third head sculpt. It's a <coughs> screaming head sculpt or attack head sculpt that you can use with uh, fireball or any other attack poses. Uh, it's the hair is done the same way on this one too. Nicely painted teeth, nicely painted hair, and the inner mouth nicely painted. Really nice, nice job on this. And the hands, they are basically all the same as the ones that came with Drew. You get the left and right. Uh, all of them. You got uh, these open up ones, nicely painted, and there, <coughs> there's some spots there that missing paint, but uh, at least it doesn't bleed over to the fingers. But could have been done better. Then I have this one that's slightly more curled up. Nicely painted too, but the uh, same issue as with the other ones. It's it's the same with the reuse hands too. There, there are spots there where, where there could be a paint, but uh, for some reason they have skipped on it. The third set of hands, even more curled up. <coughs> this looks like the same pose as the hands inside this uh, fireball if uh, you can see I'm not sure if you can see it through there but uh, more or less the same as this pose but they're done in the same material as the fireball And then we have the figure itself and the stock head sculpt with the stoic face done just as the other ones. Nicely painted and you have the fisted hands on him. It's basically the same figure as Ryu uh, and the uh, top piece here looks the same the belt is slightly different it doesn't have the markings on this one as with Ryu and the edges on the bottom of the pants here are ripped compared, uh, compared to Ryu's pants that has this even cut all the way around and uh, the possibility is the same too uh, since it's the same figure basically uh, but uh, you can get it about up to there you have the double jointed elbows you have the ball hinge in here 
that's uh, pegged into the hand and ends up in a ball peg that goes into the forearm allowing for some movement inside there in the forearm as well as in the wrist itself so you can push it around and adjust this uh, floating piece accordingly it has the swivel in the bicep pair got the ball joint system in the chest and torso area got the same uh, rubber piece on the upper body here allowing for some nice articulation to the front and back uh, got the waist swivel uh, slightly hindered though but uh, the one down here at the waist works a lot better you can go just as far as with the rear almost down to the split makes for a pretty high kick you get double jointed knees giving you 90 degrees there's a swivel in the cut tear between the foot and uh, the pants allowing for some rotation however mine is pretty stuck on that one pretty stuck here too but uh, uh, it can be work loose I'm not gonna bother doing it on this figure there's an ankle tilt as such and here you can see the peg system the peg goes backwards so you have to twist the ankle uh, you get this much down this much up and you get the toe tilt up and down and that's pretty much uh, the articulation on the figure here you have a couple of comparisons we have Ryu on the left here from the same uh, figure line and on the right you have Baraka from Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat line and as you can see they stand pretty much the same height as for a comparison between Ryu and Ken as you can see the upper outfit is basically the same but with the Ryu you have these uh, markings on the belt that Ken doesn't have as well as if you look at uh, the lower legs you can see that Ken's pants are torn while Ryu's can't, uh, pants are uh, even at the bottom other than that it's uh, basically the same figure there you can see them from the back and then we have the how to put together the accessories as mentioned the stand is the same as the one that came with Ryu you get uh, the base platform with five different holes or positioned holes and then you have one long and one short uh, base rod piece and you get two long extension pieces as well as two shorter extension pieces and uh, here's the difference in height on those two a little bit out of focus but uh, yeah they're not it's like a few millimeters in difference in height in uh, the long and short ones and yeah you can match and combine them to get the desired length you just plug the pieces together like so 
insert the, the bigger peg into the stand like so and then you just go peg hole hunting and you'll find a hole in the fireball effect that you just peg into the stand and there you have the fireball on the stand uh, next up we have the the flaming fist effect which you just simply if I can get this in focus you just raise up the hand and you take the effect and it should slide on just like that and there you have the flying uppercut effect now <clears throat> there's a shame that there's no stand for that particular move but uh, I'm gonna give something a uh, shot there put him in a simple pose now you can see there's there's some gapping in the hip rubber piece there and we're gonna see if we can get this to work I have the stand right there without the fireball and if you play with the balance a little bit you can probably uh, pull off the, the uppercut uh, with that and with the stand that comes with the figure it doesn't get uh, all that high up and the figure does wobble a little bit but uh, can manage to get it to fly somewhat and if I lower the camera here you can see that it actually lifts the figure a little bit off the ground if need be however I'd suggest that uh, <clears throat> that you invest in a proper stand for this particular move uh, but yeah you can use uh, the included stand for for uh, the uppercut move so yeah uh, this concludes my review on the storm collectibles street fighter or, or ultra street fighter 2 the final challengers can figure and uh, yeah. yeah so far I've, I've liked uh, the figures from this line as you can see here is the stand with the flaming fist and the fireball effect you get uh, three extra pair of hands and uh, three different head sculpts uh, and a backdrop or double sided backdrop so yeah I think you'll be quite happy with the purchase of this figure if you choose to get it and uh, I'll stick with this uh, line and uh, hopefully Storm Collectibles will do all the characters from that particular game uh, though it's quite a lot of them and I don't, I'm not sure if I said this in, uh, Ryu, in the Ryu uh, review but uh, uh, I skipped on the evil Ryu and the violent Ken figures because uh, the violent Ken figure is basically this figure but you have uh, uh, head sculpts with the all white eyes and uh, the Ryu or the evil Ryu figure it's just the same Ryu figure but with uh, a darker grey outfit so uh, one character 
representation of each is enough for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, and if you did, please give it a thumb up. Uh, sub uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, as usual, go nuts in the comments. And i catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.